All right, everybody, happy Friday, tutorial five. This is going to have two parts. They uh, really don't have that much to do with each other, but uh, this is just how it worked out for the schedule. Uh, one is going to be about drawing an ellipse, in a, excuse me, an ellipse in perspective, and the other is going to be a brief introduction to a value scale. Okay, the first part is going to be very similar to last week. I'm going to draw a diagram for you I want you to follow along, and then I want you to go find a cylinder to draw on your own uh, from life using the skills from the diagram. So for this diagram, we are going to imagine a large rectangular prism that is going to uh, encapsulate our cylinder. Okay, so we have a tall cylindrical form that could fit inside this, this box. Um, I'm going to just pretend uh, that my vanishing point is here. So I am uh, the top of this cylinder that we're going to be drawing is fairly close. Whoops, it's fairly close to our horizon line, and I'm positioned to the right of that object, looking at this spot in the wall. So I'm going to make this rectangular prism in perspective. This is just a one point perspective. You can do the same thing with the two point perspective. And this is a slightly crooked rectangular prism. Let me straighten that one up. Okay, I'm also going to do the same thing with the corners, uh, like this. Similar to if you ever, um, you know, drew a cube before. We're going to draw the the inside and the outside. Um, and I'm going to make it a fairly thin shape. Going to emphasize this part first and go back up here. And then I'm going to complete this prism by drawing in the, uh, the back that we wouldn't be able to see. Okay, I have zoomed in a little bit for this next step to make it clear. If the object appears a little distorted, it's because my camera is at a, a slight angle to the paper. Okay, so next thing I want to do, I'm going to start with this base and I'm going to make an X from one corner to the other. So I'm going to draw both diagonals of this rectangle. Um, and this is going to tell me the center of my ellipse that I'm imagining is sitting inside of this box. Basically, for those of you who are into math, this cylinder is going to be a tangent to the fourth sides of, of the rectangular prism. Okay, I'm going to draw a perspective line lightly through that dot to my vanishing point.
um, and then I'm going to draw a parallel line through that midpoint. Okay, so you should see uh, this point, this point, this point, and this point. These are the points uh, that are our ellipse, they should, where the ellipse should be tangent to the rectangle. And uh, I want to do the same thing up here. I'm going to make these a little darker just so you can see them. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, use a colored pencil and I'm going to try to connect the dots being as smooth as possible and drawing my lips. It's a tiny bit pointy there. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing up above. Again, I'm going to these four points. These are the points that the ellipse should be tangent to. get this okay and as you can see the ellipse at the top is much skinnier it's very close to the horizon line versus the ellipse at the bottom is quite round it's almost circular as if we're looking straight down on on it Okay, last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the two uh, the two ellipses. It looks like I was pretty close. I'm using a different color just to uh, clarify what the uh, the different steps. Okay, I'm going to continue drawing this. Okay. 
One thing to avoid is pointy ends of your ellipses. That's a common problem. Just try and get the ends uh, maybe slightly more round than you'd think they should be. Uh, and maybe I'll just uh, kind of lightly erase some of the other marks. We still want to see those construction lines, but so we can see the ellipse a little bit better. Erase this a little bit. Okay, I corrected the left, the lower left side a little bit because I thought that curve was a little off. Um, and that's basically what I want from that first section. Um, and then I want you to go on and work with an object from life. So I'll just show you an example. Okay, here's an example of a situation that would fit this very well. I have this somewhat tall paint can um, or jar and we can see that the top of the jar we don't see that much, it's sort of a thin ellipse, whereas the bottom is a much rounder ellipse. Okay, for this last part, I want you to make a five part value gradation. Um, basically uh, create something just like this. So we are, I, I just used a ruler and uh, made one inch squares. That was the easiest thing to do. And uh, I'm starting with 0% graphite. So it's just the white of the paper. And then I move up in equal increments. And that is the, that's the key. I want you to try and get equal increments between value tones. So you're gonna go from the white of the paper to a light gray to a medium gray, to a 75% gray, to 100% gray. Uh, it will take. It took me a couple tries. It will probably take you a couple tries. Um, but this is uh, the reason I'm having you do this. Is this is going to help us move into value with the next project in class? Okay, that is that is all for the tutorial five. I'll uh, post some diagrams below and instructions below. Okay, see you next week.